Hello guys and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. In one of the last videos I showed you how gases would actually sort once they are released to the environment. Basically the light gases will end up on top, in that case it is hydrogen and the heavy gases will uh, basically gather themselves at the bottom of the map, in that case it's carbon dioxide. And that is, sometimes that's not very handy, especially when you have a lot of carbon in your main base, so to say. You can see that these bedrooms are already covered by carbon dioxide, so nobody will be able to breathe once, um, yeah, once they're going to bed. So we need some kind of a mechanic to fix that. Uh, well, the obvious uh, choice here would be the carbon skimmer. Let's check the sets for a moment. Uh, it will basically delete 300 grams of carbon dioxide per second, but therefore we would have to invest 120 watts of power and also 1000 grams of water. And in the end we will also have to deal with the extra heat, 1k DTU, which is not too much actually, and also some polluted water. So that's not the deal we really want here. Instead, you can uh, just place a gas pump at the bottom of the map. Um, this one would pr uh, transfer 500 grams of any gas, in that case carbon, and therefore will consume 240 watts, which is twice the power. As for the carbon skimmer, but still we don't need all the auxiliary devices to actually have a carbon skimmer working. So this could actually be a better choice for power efficiency in your base. Let's check how that could work. We are of course going to place the gas pump at the bottom and just transport the gas somewhere else, say out of the base connect that to power. As you can see it starts immediately and will yeah it will endlessly transport any gas that is around the pump and will never stop. In the gas overlay you will be able to see that the gas level will slowly drop and eventually the gas pump will also transport other gases around it such as oxygen or polluted oxygen. That's actually not what we want. We want some kind of an automation for that procedure here. So let's have a short think about automation. Uh, because carbon is going to be the heaviest gas, why not just place a little sink down here. And we are going to place the gas pump at the bottom. And we are still going to transport all the gases out of the base. And yeah, what do we need for automation? For instance, we could go with a gas element sensor, that's a decent choice already. And just connect that directly to the gas pump and pick carbon dioxide. So this way we are basically telling the gas pump to only start operating when there is carbon detected down here. And as you can see, all the carbon is automatically um, dropping down to this little sink and it will be emitted by this little gas pump. The gas pump will automatically stop once there's any other gas detected. So that's a very clean uh, method already. Um, yeah, and also uh, this gap gas pump is some kind of a filter because there won't ever be any other gases into the pipes than just carbon. But let's check another thing. As you can see, the gas pipes are still full or at least the gas pump is working at maximum efficiency for 500 grams per gas pipe, but now it has suddenly stopped. It only transports th roughly 350 grams of carbon dioxide at the time. And that is because the carbon dioxide is not dropping down here fast enough, or the other way around, the gas pump is operating too fast and can't find enough gas to actually transport away. So we will need to add another automation to that. Let's remove the existing automation. We're gonna need an additional condition and that's gonna be with an AND gate, of course. You're just gonna place that, well, let's say, right on top. 
and we are going to connect the gas pump to the output and also the gas element sensor to one of the inputs and for the other inputs we are just going to pick a, an atmo sensor here and set this atmo sensor to send a green signal only when there is gas detected above 800 grams per time. Oh, and I forgot to connect power. So you can see at this situation the gas element sensor is detecting carbon dioxide, so one uh, condition is met. But the other one from the ATMO sensor is not met. And basically the ATMO sensor lets the gas pump wait until there is enough gases around it or the, the, the mass of the gas is, is high enough. As you can see it is detecting 780 grams and that's still below 800 grams and therefore it will wait. What will happen actually to the gas pipes after that? Let's see. So what we see is that we will always have 500 grams of carbon dioxide now because the gas pump is just waiting for the pressure to rise. Therefore we have increased the efficiency of the gas pump uh, quite a bit because it will consume less power per transferred gas, so to say. And of course this little automation would work for uh, hydrogen as well. Just gonna place the little sink at the top of the base instead. Disconnect here. Place a gas pump up here. Remember we need an AND gate. Connect the output of that AND gate to the pump. Then we need two sensors. One gas element sensor down here. And one atmo sensor up here very close to the gas pipe. And we are again gonna set that to 800. And oh, we don't have a ventilation set up yet. Still pump it out somewhere here. And then we still need power. And we will also need to pick hydrogen for the gas element sensor. Yep. Let's check the gas overlay. So you s see that the gas element sensor is still not covered uh, with hydrogen, at least not all of the time, and therefore we don't have a green signal, but now we are receiving signal, green signals from the gas element sensor over time, and therefore um, yeah, this little sink with the gas pump will clear all the excess gases or the unwanted gases in, in the base. And this is also a filter, so you could basically uh, attach your hydrogen generator directly to this gas pump, therefore it will consume pure hydrogen. So I think this is it for this episode. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I would appreciate if you consider subscribing. Thanks and goodbye.